contender, contender. No search. Come in, Chris. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we got nice, real nice uh, yaw fin off the stern of the ship. Okay, copy. We're on our way. It's really important that we tag these tuna and follow them because they are a commercial species for the region and we need to understand how our marine reserves are contributing to their conservation. There he is right there. Okay, there you go. The contender hooked up to first yellowfin tuna that we're hoping to put an acoustic transmitter in. Let's just use 25722. He's on the surface. They're ready to go down. These are the first tuna that have ever been tagged here in the islands with acoustic tags, so we'll be able to start figuring out part of their movement. So this is an important moment. <laughs> All right, I think it's gonna, this is gonna be it. About ready for you. Okay, come on up! Free fall. Once it comes on board, we're gonna make sure that it has uh, irrigations, that has a hose in the mouth. Scientists, let's go, let's do the tagging. Look. We're gonna just try and make this as quick as possible. Yeah, he's already trying to put it in. Pelayo's put the tag inside, maybe just one suture, maybe two, and then back out again. One suture in. Everybody off, let's go! I think when you think about our mission and you think about our capacity to help scientists and trying to make an impact on the overall ocean versus just sharks, hugely symbolic moment there. First yellowfin tuna that come through that we put a, a tag in. You can see now we could do that for any big yellowfin, any big bluefin, any big tur turtle type of species that uh, scientists needed access to. What we know about tuna is that they're high performance fishes, which means they swim really fast, they're able to migrate, they're highly migratory, and uh, therefore they have a higher oxygen carrying capacity. This is the level where most uh, sharks level out at, a lot of the sharks I've been working on on this trip. And then we see here that the tuna is about 50% or more red blood cell volume in total blood volume. And that actually is called a hematocrit value. Um, it's a value that we typically measure anyway for stress uh, levels, but you know, just seeing it and understanding the physiology of the tuna versus a basic shark, uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. <laughs>